Okay, Coach Miller, so you have a champ today yeah. and Connor Whiteley um, almost lost on a misconduct. I, yeah, the weird punish the athlete rule. For, for a, what a coach did. Yeah. But not you. Not it wasn't me. you. His other no. coach. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, and then they bounced him, right? Yeah. He's out for the, you didn't get bounced though. You got to stay. I'm still here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, um, talk to me about training Connor. What's Connor done? Uh, just Connor just comes in. We kind of met when I first started at Western Reserve. Uh, they actually moved to Twinsburg, so they're only about seven minutes away from us. And he just started coming to practice. And, you know, right from day one, I knew he was super talented. And, uh, you know, he just works his tail off wrestling with my high school 120 pounder, um, giving him good goes. So, okay, I got to let you defend yourself. Um, I, I kind of dogged on you for your boot scoot, and it doesn't work for average people. Your cousin Wyatt. Hits a boot scoot in overtime in the uh, NCAA Division II blood round. Gets it. The guy was so dog tired. He falls on the guy's legs. Was, Our boot scoots for regular people. Absolutely. I mean, uh, it was picture perfect, man. I was so proud of him when he hit that. As soon, I was watching it from home. As soon as I seen him cinch up that elbow, I knew it was over. Uh, you know, but he's been seeing that since he was, you know, a little boy. So, and and I worked with him a, a ton, you know, during high school and then, you know, in the college. I'm I'm just hitting it. And if you, you know, he's 197 pounds. If you can hit a boot scoot at a 197 pounder, uh, you know, you'd be pretty good. Wyatt's an athlete too. Very yeah. He's a good athlete. Like Wyatt yeah. can run a sub five minute miles. He can run right around 51 seconds in a 400. So he's fast. Yeah. And athletic. Yeah. Um, what's your biggest thing? Um, your your transition over from uh, D1, seven years of D1, Oregon State four and three at App, is that right? Yeah. What's the biggest thing from that to high school coaching um, it? Um, you know, not too much different. Uh, kind of just slower pace. You know, I'll have, I had like a handful of kids that were just learning wrestling this year, so it was really fun to have, you know, half the room at a, at a kind of a higher level and then the other half kind of just starting out and learning to love the sport. Um, you know, so, you know, I get a cool mix, you know, you know, in college, you just have all, you know, everyone coming in. They want to be NCAA champs, you know, and they're wrestling at a high level. Um, here you get a mixture. You know, I'm running my club, and, uh, you know, so I get a mixture of junior high, youth, youth age kids as well. So it's, I get kind of full spectrum. Is your technique bullshit or is it real? Is a boot scoot a real move for real people? A boot, I mean, hey, this is my motto. I didn't sell, I mean, low, I came at you pretty hard. I'm, low percentage move become high percentage moves if you just practice them enough. You know, you just so was I out of line? No, no, no. Uh, but here is the one thing: is I never drilled a boot scoot. I never drilled an inside trip. You know, it's just something they gave happened. them to you. People gave them to you. Yeah, I, I, I have something where I can watch a video and see a move and, and kind of be able to go out and hit it. Um, That's called being a kinesthetic genius, just so you know. Yeah, so most I, people can't do that. I have a kid. You know on, that, right? Yeah, I have a kid on my team um, from South Korea. And he showed up this year, started wrestling, and he started hitting all these crazy moves that I don't show in practice. I said, where are you learning these? He said, Instagram Reels. I said, okay. He's not learning from me, he's learning from Instagram Reels. All right, we got a wild match here. I gotta get into yes, it. Sir. Congrats on the champ. Yeah, thanks.